everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. <laughs> Mod Pack can't speak today. It's a good start. Right. I've got a list of things to do. Let's go and get it and have a look what we want to do today. Or oh, what I'd like to do today. Uh, there. So, episode 26. Covered conveyor belt. I put, I changed the conveyor belt, made it a covered one. I wasn't sure whether or not it would work with the hopper. But it does, just fine. So you can put the hopper in there and you just... Connects it looks better as well, it doesn't look as it's half of space, so that's good. The next thing I did is actually change all the cabling around here. As you can see, I've got cables going underneath the ground uh, and coming out at these two. Well, I've got the two the two steam engines here, there's one basically going through there, and it goes down underneath and it connects up to the whole network, which makes, of course, all of the wiring a lot neater. You see, I've got one coming out here, and there's another one coming through the back here, and so on and so forth. So, no more nasty looking cables. I've got one. I've still got one and that's this one here because that what I couldn't find there was a way to connect this to this to the other type of cables but with these connectors and the wires it works just fine. So, we've, so this is working just fine so we've got all we need to to progress. So next thing let's have a look. So that's covered code belts and that was the cables from Magnetic Craft. So I want to show you my piston clock, this thing over here. I've had this built for quite a long time. You probably notice it in the background sometimes, but and it's night time already. Hmm. But it doesn't work quite as well as it should do. Let's just have a let's just have a sleep down here. While I show while I show actually that's not very sensible, was it? Let's put those cables up. Those electric cables, I made lots of them. I wanna say lots, I made two stacks or something like that. Uh, that was plenty and I was expecting to use a lot more but in fact I didn't use that many so now this thing with snow on it snow may disappear when I get this to work it's a bit buggy let's turn it on as you can see and as it goes back it disappears <laughs> also it's very noisy so it's not the best thing in this pack oh it's not disappearing now yeah sometimes it is sometimes it isn't it's funny Anyway, the idea of that was to be able to trigger this one here, but of course I'd need to put this redstone at one block in order to do that. So that's that one. Let's take that one off as well. That's the piston clock. Next thing, heater. Right, I want to make the heater. Now, this is the heater block, external heater. So we need one copper coil block, some copper, well, three copper, four, four iron and one redstone. Have I got, and maybe you've got everything prepared. Let's have a look. Copper blocks. Oh, it doesn't look like I've got anything prepared. One copper ingot, some bronze, copper cores. We've got copper cores. I've got these. I'm sure I've got the copper bits made, but where are they? All right, well, I've got plenty of these. You've got two stacks of these. I had two stacks of these. Oh, here, yes, I've got them made in my inventory here, these copper core blocks. So we should be able to make that. So we need some iron we've got in here. Copper, we need some more copper. And one more redstone, I think. So let's see if we can make that thing now. This external heater. Of course, I'm going to need a connector for this. Let's go and get a. Oh, spread the warmth. Now I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but we'll need some. We'll need a ca uh, insulated cable, and we're also going to need a connector. Let's see if this actually does what I'm hoping it's going to do. The idea being, of course, as you can see, lots of things are going. This is quite slow because I haven't got enough power going into this. I think it needs 80 watts, and I'm only giving it 48, which isn't enough. This thing, I wonder if we can get this thing to connect to that. Let's just try it. So it says you can put the heater next to a furnace, and it should work. So I guess, no, it just looks like it just connects up anywhere. Let's try connecting it to the front in that case. One LV cable and then one copper cable insulated so we don't get here. Now we should be able to connect that to there like that. Oh, yes, we could. We can. So that connects up nicely. Now I don't know whether that's going to make any difference. Tell you what. Let's see if we can make some electrum. So that's copper, gold and silver. I should have gold and silver in this chest actually. I've got 16 gold now. And three stacks and a half of, of copper 
and silver. There we go. Let's see if we can get rid of this pollution. No, I'm not sure it's going to work at all. Work. No, I'm in trying. No, it ain't working. I wonder if I have to put it in a different place, like down the bottom. Ooh, we could try that as well. I was hoping it was going to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. How am I going to do this? So we go. I've no idea. I'll tell you what. Let's get a furnace and see if it works with a furnace. Get a little double clicker that gets another uh, item through the sister uh, through the sieve. Furnaces, have I got? I know I've got some furnaces around here somewhere. Because I dug them up from here, so I must have them around. The question is, where did I put them? Here we go. I need something to smell. Let's go and get something to smell. What can we smell? Let's take a piece of cobble soon. Or three. a long way around. So we put the furnace down here. I presume you can go let's put it on top underneath it like this. Let's put some cobbles in. Does that work? No. <laughs> okay. I uh, may have got this connected to the wrong bit. Let's just try doing it at the side because it I know it's designed for the furnace. No. So that might mean I've got this connected up incorrectly, or it probably hasn't got enough power, but it should have enough power. We don't have any indication. Of, oh, zero IF. Okay. So it hasn't got enough power. Tell you what, let's pick up this lot. I was hoping I didn't break everything that I shouldn't have broken. That's good. I haven't furnished that connector. And Cable I should also have. Where's the cable gone to? Ah, I picked it up. I can hear it. Good. Let's go and try that over here where the other ones are connecting. Yeah, it looks like a reasonable spot. Let's just put it down here and then we should be able to reach that no problem whatsoever. So let's put down the furnace first. Get it in the hand, of course. That's the heater, not the furnace. Let's put down the furnace first. And put the heater on top of it. Does it, have a, does it have anything that looks like a connecting point? It just looks like heaters, doesn't it? Oh! Ah! Didn't see that, did I? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so that explains that. Now, can I shift click that into place? Let's write that. We can remove that in that case. Let's pick it up again. So how do I put that down so it's the right way around? <laughs> I put it on that way and it went the connector went the other way. Tell you what. I don't really know how to do this, I've got to be honest. Well let's put the let's put the furnace down here like that. And then we can put this heater beside it. I'll move we can from not too close like that and then we can break the furnace and see what happens no it's not so maybe I have to turn it around let's try turning it around I haven't got the hammer with me I have to go and get the hammer which I'll, I'll dump those while I'm going past as well I've got some um, as you may have noticed I've got some another brick uh, another fences Another brick fencing. Let's get rid of that. Another brick fencing. Don't need that with me. I've actually got some nether bricks. In fact, I've actually got some nether wart. So I'll show you. I'll show you where we got that from. If we got time. That's on the last item of the list. Anyway, uh, hammer. I think there's a hammer in here. Let's take this one. Got a feeling sometimes I'm making mountains out of molehills, so to speak. Right, let's turn this around. Can I turn this around? Um, 
it might be with a hammer. Yes, now we can turn it around. I don't know whether that's going to work. We'll find out. Let's connect it again. Shift right click that onto there and then right click that onto that and then this should have power. It does. Now does that mean this is going to work? No. Let's put this beside it. I don't know whether it goes beside on top or wherever. I've never used one of these. So I'm having probably one I'm having trouble with it on time. So let's have a look. And sure enough that's working. So we don't expect to see pollution from this because it's using power. Electricity. Oh yeah, that looks sort of like glowing nicely, isn't it? And going down a bit as well. So that's okay. That's finished. So we've got three pieces of stone. Fantastic. Let's just try moving this block now. Now, where could we put this so it would actually work? Let's try let's try beside it here. that's how we had it on the other one wasn't it so let's put that down and rotate it around so we've got I have to do it from the top don't I there we go so we have the connecting point here it might not connect to this well I've got these chimneys no I don't need these chimneys anyway do I It would be great if this works, I have to say, because it's going to be... Those things are generating a lot of pollution, both the kiln and the smoke, and the blast furnace. Oh, oh, is that all? Is it grass and... Oh, that's... <laughs> I didn't expect that, actually. Now, that light's gone off. It's because it's drawn all the power. And it's not working. See, this has gone up to 4.4, and I suspect that all the lights are out because it's just not quite enough power for this thing yet. What time is it? <laughs> 10 o'clock. We'll better turn this on again so I can break this and go sleep. So I'll have to do that. Wire cutters I don't have with me. No mind, I'll just hammer the, hammer the connector pick up the two bits, the light comes back on again and we'll have a quick sleep. Another night's gone, goodness, that's time's going fast. There we can, oh, there's the connector, let's pick up that connector. I haven't got my armour on, so it's coming towards, I think it's coming slowly towards midwinter. Try again with this one. So this will fill up. I don't suppose it's going to help the blast furnace either. I don't suppose the blast furnace is going to work. We do have got another 10 pieces of steel, which is good. So what I'm going to do with these two things here, other than put chimneys on top, let's put a chimney on top of this one as well. I'm going to make a cover that goes over these two blocks here, because they're about central, aren't they? difficult with a two and a three of course and then then I'm going to basically take the vacuum bag and catch all the sm all the sort of pollution that goes into those and then do it that way that was actually on my list and it's getting very cold so that means we're in the middle of winter which is not ideal what temperature is it because I've got my woolies on let's get my temp tem I reckon I'm on temperature three or four did I say something daft? Oh yes, I'm three, going up to four, that's fine. It stops, it jiggles around and, oh, if I stand here, we'll go up to four, up to five. I'm not sure why that went up to that. Anyway, it stops jiggling around at five, so that's fine. So I'll get rid of that one. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So the next thing, if I can, I'm going to craft it. If I can't, I'm going to have to go to the nether because there's not much else we can do it this time uh, this year now let's have a look it's probably mid yeah it's into the mid winter season now coming up to the midwinter biome temperature seasons minus 13 that's it yeah that's why we get so cold <laughs> and everything goes slightly blue so anyway 
what I'd like, let's get this back in my hand here. So that's the heater. The heater works. I want to do a charger. Let's have a look and see how, what we have to do to make a charger. So, Magnetograph, I can get rid of this one actually because I've got it as well. And I want the charger. And I think it's charging station from immersive engineering. So, treated wood planks, no problem. Wire LVR, two iron, three glass, and one of these copper core blocks. Now we should have enough for that actually. Let's have a look. Glass, I'm not sure about glass. We'll find some. I've got one piece of glass. I always seem to have a shortage of glass. So, I've got some more in one of these. No. Yes, well, I've got plenty in that good. So, what do we need then? Can we do this? I'm missing one LV oh, MV wire connector, which we haven't made yet. So that's terracotta times four and three iron ingots. Terracotta times four is basically clay blocks. I've got clay. I've been picking up some clay as I went along. Where have I put it? I was, I was mining and I was up, ending up mining some clay. Now, I don't know where it is. Tell you what. Doesn't matter, we'll take this. So we need um, 16 of these. And we can make this into clay blocks. And then we can cook those. I think I'll just use the, the one over here. Hopefully we don't get too cold in the process of doing this. What temperature is it? Oh, I've got to go down to 2. 2 is bad, because 2 means we're going to start hurting. 3 <laughs> is OK. We can survive at 3. That's a strange noise. So I've just got to wait for those to be done. I'm pretty sure I have some clay blocks around. Tell you what, let's go in here. And in here, let's get out here from blaze rods. I want to make a brewing stand today. We just I think it's just one blaze rod. We need to have a look at the usage of that. Yes, three cobblestone and one blaze rod will make a brewing stand. Because I want to make night vision at last. So we'll do that in a second. Let's see if we can run off and get that last bit. Normally at this time of year, what I do is um I go fishing off camera so we've got those four good because it's something I'm near a, I'm near a warm block and I've also thought well if I use purified water and I don't know whether this works in the, for fishing we're gonna try it see if it does work so now we want to do this MB cable should be able to do it like that good four of those so then we can actually make this charging station and I hope can actually charge something up in this one. So, oh, five or seven, that's okay. What I want to charge up is one of these swapping ones, the protection wand. I think the protection wand would be really awesome to charge up. It was one of the ones I got from a chest. Actually, it was a village chest from one of the um, the guys here. So, I go, oh, we're going to put this thing. Why am I so cold? Is it because of being near to this? No. Let's just see if we can do it quickly enough. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> right. Because you take a lot of damage being doing this as well. So, But here there's some warm blocks. Do you know what I should do? I haven't done this yet, and I don't ask me why I haven't done this yet. Come on, I should, I'm at three now, I should be fine. That's right, I've stopped taking damage. But I'm a bit thirsty, we'll have a drink as well. Yeah, let's do that, because it's something I should have done a long time ago. If this charging station works, it's one of the reasons I wanted to make this charging station, other than the wand, was to also do this thing. So we've got in here these. And I've got enough. Actually, I only need 16, because I think we use them in four. So if you look at the uses of that, we can make this. So that's three of those, one of those, so that's basically we need seven. Alright, let's do that. Seven, that's fine. 
take 17, that'll give us a few extra. That's the one that keeps us hot and cold inside, so we can then start to do things. But I'm not in an ideal spot here because it's outside all the time. What temperature are we at? Five, that's fine, good. So, what did I say? Let's do the uses of that one. I want to make one of these. So, we're in redstone. Let's put the rest in here. I think three is probably a bit daft as well. Let's do that like that and try that again. So we need to make one of these first of all. We also need to, oh, it's the wrong thing. I just did the wrong thing. Well, let's have a look at the uses of this one. We want to make one of these, but I haven't got the, the bits with me. Let's go and get some of that. So we're going to need seven, I think, to make one of them. Yep, seven. We've got plenty of ice. Not in there and not in there in here let's not fill up my inventory stuff I don't need. there is a cooling one there I could have taken that of course but this does need power the heating one doesn't so in fact let's make another one of these because then we can actually just turn this on with a redstone signal what do I need stone oh so we need some cobblestone let's just take a stack of cobblestone and put that in the chest Put the iron and the steel in the chest as well, I don't need that with me. Try again. Right, recipe. Second one of those. Uses of this one. We want to make this. Uses of this one. We want to make this. So that's just a block of iron, that should be no problem. Let's try that again. Use of this one is this. And the use of this one is the personal heater here with portable heater so this one could take energy so we've got one of these now but we have to be covered as far as i know let's just put it down and see if it actually does anything for us this is a different mod this is requires a redstone signal that's not a big deal let's get a redstone signal let's put it on top Redstone ignored. Oh, okay, it doesn't need power. Can I connect this to power? Let's just get a connector, see if it does actually charge up. So we don't care about the redstone signal, that was just a, a red herring, or oh, misreading by, my, by me. Let's put this on the top of that. Let's come over here and get another cable out of here. And connect this cable up to that pillar up there. So I'm getting cold again. I'm alright at the time. Oh yes. <laughs> it's not got enough power. So we'll just break this cable. In fact we'll take these shears this time and do it the proper way. And right click the cable. I think it's right click the cable. There we go. Where did that go to? So it needs more power than we've got. But we can put the other one down in here anyway. Let's just do the other one down in here. Let's put it on top of the, this first one. And let's give it a redstone signal. How am I going to do that? Can I stick the redstone torch on it? No. Didn't work. If I power this block here... No. Nope. <laughs> Let's try putting it. I need a lever probably. Where's it gone to? Let's put it on the top of it. Oops, lag. Oh. Let's get this on there. Yeah, now we might be able to get some climatization. 13, that's fine. Whew. So, extremities going up. Right, good. So, we have got a bit of heat in here now. So, that's at last that one sorted out go oh, that was a bit exciting I can tell you I've got these bandages anyway they were from mob, mob props as it happens so the other one of these I'll put back in the other room and I've got some of this this healing salve isn't actually that useful it's one 
quick usage and it's gone. The bandages are, are quite slow, but they actually give you five. I don't know about the, the band-aids. I think they're a bit better. But I'm surprised these don't stack, to be honest with you. you can, all right, I can imagine the bowls not stacking, but I'm a bit surprised that those don't stack. So let's have a quick sleep. Because time is minus four. Makes a difference. Right, now. Charger. So now we've got a bit of heat. Let's make sure we've got enough heat here. What's the gradient? It's 9, it's 91. So let's go and take this cable down here now. And we can go and see if we can connect that other one up. Probably doesn't have enough power in the system. Oh, Enderman. Enderman. Gosh, what's he doing here? Now, can I connect this directly? Or do I have to put... Oh, yes, look, connector. Do we need a connector on the back? And I've got... That's an MV cable. I don't know why that's going to work. We'll try it. Cannot connect. Oh, so I have to use a MB cable. So okay, that's f not fine. So we just have to get that, an LV connector out of here. Got the last one. <laughs> that's fortunate. I suspect it's going to need MB cables in there anyway. Keep my head down, not looking at that end of one. I'm not ready to sort him out just yet. Let's link that up to there. Oh. Wrong cable. Can't connect it. I've got to use the other cables, of course. Actually, I've got plenty of those. Let's just knock that off this one in that case. I'm wondering why I've got one there, but it's actually, I know I've got one there. And I'm going down again. Let's get this connected up. And indeed, it's charging up. Right. I'm going to rush back. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do this a whole episode, I promise. I don't have much choice. I'm just going to here and get warmed up a bit. Five. Okay, that should stop jiggling. Six. That's good. And the gradient means that it goes down faster. So we can put that away and this away. We don't need those two. Uh, while we're here, let's craft up the brewing stand. And I don't have any cobblestone with me. One brewing stand. I might as well put this brewing stand down in this corner, in fact, where I keep my emergency bag. You'll notice my emergency bag has disappeared. We'll have to sort that out as well. Has he gone away? Look on the mini map. No, he's straight ahead of me somewhere over there. I can. Oh, yes, I can see him he's hiding behind that pillar. What's he got in his hands? Well, block of dirt. A grass block. Okay. I'll tell you what, we can do. Let's go and. Um, because he's going to annoy me. I'm going to have to get rid of him. <laughs> now, Emma, is there a safe spot here? Yes, there's a safe spot. Where is he? There he is. Come on. I have to wait for him to come on to me. You can't actually hit him. Oh, yes, there you go. Right, this will do. He's got quite a lot of health, this Enderman. One more. I get my grass black book grass block back again. What I've got to watch out for is making sure this windmill doesn't get stuck with snow. I should be able to get rid of this as well. Nope, I can't get rid of grass block blocks in there. I've got somewhere for to put them in here for now. I tell you, that's dark, dark wood, doesn't it? I've got a space for dark wood now. I've got a grew the sap tree over here. Look, you see, I've got that wood sap uh, tree. So, what I was going to do, I was going to put this stuff back, wasn't I? And what I want to see is if I can actually charge up this wand. Ah, I've got no space in there. That doesn't really belong in there anyway. So, let's put that into this chest. 
Das sind die Mati Craft One. Thirty-two. Okay, that's now. What can I do with this thing? That's the question. Where's that one gone to here? How do I? Can I? Oh yes, I can. And it is probably charging up. Take it out. Oh, yeah, it's got some charge in it. Fantastic. So it does work great. <laughs> Success. Let's get this list out again and get that ticked off as well. So we've done the the heat of the charging stand, brewing stand, a fortress chest which you want to cover. I've talked about covering the kiln in the first, I'm not going to do that on camera, that's one of those boring building jobs. And I think, and I don't do very beautiful buildings, so it's even more boring for everybody else. Now that protection one, if I'm not mistaken, I can use that to make a, a wither cage, so I can grind the wither, but first of all I've got to get some heads, haven't I, from uh, skeletons, uh, wither skeletons, but they're not dropping many. I've had a few fights with them, and they haven't dropped anything, so let's just put this back. Let's go and repair my tools. I'm just thinking what I'm going to do actually, let's just let's repair the hammer. And the cobalt. They're uh, fine. I'll take those with me. I'll put that this one into here because I don't need that. So we've got plenty of bandages. Heals 5.5 hearts. We know that, but it doesn't tell you how many goes it has. So now what have I got with me? I don't want this. I don't want the shears. We'll put the shears back. Put the we'll put the check uh, the board up here. Time being out of the way and we'll put this back I'm not going to need this armor that's not going to be very useful in the nether I've got a glass bottle which we could get rid of as well let's put the glass bottle in there because we've got a bottle of juice which is plenty for what we need oh I know, do know what I want to do I want to get rid of that but I also want to get rid of this this one this one went into this chest didn't I keep this one in here I want to get rid of the other two bits and find the uh, the jellied slime armor. So I can get rid of this and this, and I think that's everything. What do we have in here? That might be useful. Hang glider. Buckets are always good to take with you. Food, yes. Drink, yes. Important. Now, jellied slime. Where have I put the jellied slime armor? I think it's in this backpack over here. I might have left it in the nether, but not that one. This one, good, we'll take this with us. And the last thing we're going to take with us, of course, is fire protection potion. I should have built this ages ago. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know I knew how good it was. <laughs> so there were. Actually, I'll take both of them. I think I'm only intending to use one. How are we doing for time? 33 minutes video. Let's have a look. That should be about enough. So let's trundle off to the nether and go and find out where I got the nether work from. There's some chests up there as well which I haven't opened yet. Of course, I'm going to have to change my armor straight away when I come in here because, <laughs> strangely enough, it will otherwise get too hot. And I'll put, I'll put this armor in here. In fact, I'm going to have to put all of this armor in here because I'm not going to need it. And no, doesn't make any sense to even take it with me. So what I've got: sharpening kits, bows, and that one sword, which is good. I'll take that. Probably don't need these two picks with us. So I would like to, yeah, I've got the matic, that's good. Right, okay, that's, and I don't need the sleeping bag. I've got that, that'll do. So we basically go to the other one. This is where I left the other, yeah, the other backpack. We've got to go and pick up another backpack. 
because I died. <laughs> what a surprise. I don't let, you know how these are. Actually, I'm, at the moment I'm traveling which direction? East. And fortresses run, tend to run in the nether, north to south. So when you found one fortress, you just, the other fortresses are going to be south of where you are at the moment. So we'll get that in that hand. Or north. Now I did check with the chunk thing, which one tell, which tells you where the fortresses are, and there is one that's south. So I actually found it, and it was surprisingly easy. I was quite surprised about that. We're going to drink one of these potions when we get to the um, into the fortress, because the protection from blazes is just fantastic. You have no problem with blazes. And if we have time on the way back, I shall go and do that. There's a hot block there, actually. I don't know what it is. Have I got my... Yes, I have. Good. It's jumping up and down. It shouldn't be. I'm getting all trying to why. Is there something straight? I've checked the temp temp info. I guess we've got the right arm around. This one, is this one working? Oh, we'll get rid of him. So let's have a, oh yes, that must be, that one must be working. Let's just check the temp temp. If I have to run that twice, of course. I don't ask me why, just, it's a bug. So temperature target is eight. I don't understand, bio, yeah, that should be fine. There shouldn't be anything special about that. I will drink this thing, I want to drink this thing. So we've got eight minutes now. We get the bottle back as well. So the blazes over here may or may not shoot at us. There may be something else around here. There's a, there's a skelly somewhere. I can hear the weather skeleton, but I can't see him yet. I said that. <laughs> I can tell you. That, oh, he dropped a bone. Fantastic. I got my first one. And that is good. So I've lit it up with a little, a little light here. <laughs> a very little light. So we go down here and then there should be another light somewhere. Oh, there's only one way to go, and that's it's where I died. And there's a skeleton down there. Hopefully there isn't anything else. Oh, a zombie pigment. I don't want to see the zombie pigment. Let's get rid of him. Let's shoot him on the floor. Let's get him on his feet, and this will be alright. But I grow the zombie pigment if I can avoid it. No, that wasn't where I died. That was just a marker. So you can see it's 126 blocks away from the wart, another wart, which is, which is fine actually, I need to go this side, don't I? But I made a little passageway up here. That was purely coincidence, just check down here for something else. And here we have the my backpack and where I died. So let's pick up this backpack now. Shift left, click it, good. So we've got that on us. And what I want to do is now is go and just have a look down the just take down here. What have we got down here? They won't do me any harm, so I don't care about them. Oh, that's a weather skeleton and there's some blazes. And a skeleton. Just hopefully there's no zombie pigment around here. Can I see any no I can't. I can see a skeleton. There you are, I can see it. There must be a spawner here as well. Somewhere there must be a spawner. Anyway, we're going this way. Did I pick up that time? So I've got my necrotic bone, which is great. I'm going to put that on the um, shuriken. And then hopefully as we attack, some zombie pigment down here. You know, I didn't bring any blocks with me. I should always bring blocks with me. 
this way. And the nether wall is down here, as you can see. So I was quite brave and found the nether wall. And I think we oh have yes, some any zombie pigment. No, I don't think there's zombie pigment down here. Just get just get rid of them. We don't need to worry about these guys too much because they can't hurt us. They can only drop for us some nice. This is not the way I want to go to, so where do I, is the chests are over there, 50 metres away. Somebody's getting hurting. So I don't need, to, oh it has grown actually. It's Chests over here, okay, good. And some more leather wood. And here we go. Check they're not trapped. Doesn't look like a trapped tra trash to me, so let's right click that one. We've got another swapping wand, golden armor, and a saddle. Let's actually take this thing with us. What have we got here? Obsidian, all right, no harm. Now I'm an obsidian and another thing, and the third chest is this one, which I didn't check, of course, and I got loads of diamonds in that. So what did I pick up there? Diamonds, another flint and steel, no? Don't know. Right, that's it, I'm going home. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, so I'm saying bye for now. Anyway, I'm back home and I'll see you next time. Bye.